more discussion. Uh, so thank you very much and uh, first of all thank you Dr. Srikant Somani for setting a stage for me and I would like to thank Dr. Bansi Sabu. So Dr. Srikant has nicely explained why we need to use insulin and we have number of study. But now after 10 years probably we will fulfill your dream in the MDABA that we can offer at least 20%, 10% population with the type 1 diabetes to insulin pump. So with this I am starting my uh, talk, 10 year old boy who, all, uh, who is on the MDI and want to move on the 780G insulin pump inspired by Dr. Shrikan Somani's talk. So from the clinic, uh, clinician perspective, what is the role of clinician perspective? Yaha role khatam ho jai clinician ka, ke yaha se badta hai. Second, what should be the criteria to start the insulin pump? how to calculate the boluses and the basal dose and what is the initiation protocol that we need to start with and how to interpret the report. Jab ek saal ke baad patient aega, so we will have some reports. So according to that, we have to interpret that reports and if patient may have a hypo and a hyperglycemia, in that case, what we need to do. So these are the answers that my, I, my, uh, I might try, uh, try to give end of the, my talk. So from the clinical perspective, insulin pump will decide how much automatic basal should be given but your carbs, carbs ratio insulin carbs ratio will be decided by you so according to that hypo and hypo you will decide how many amount of the insulin carb ratio you will take third thing insulin sensitivity factor is decided by insulin pump by itself but you need to decide the active insulin time suppose we are in the conference we are going to eat gulab jambu so it contains very high amount of the carbohydrate. So for that, I want to work very aggressively. In that case, I put active insulin time only two hours. And suppose my gene trainer, uh, my type 1 diabetic educator is there, Ravindra. He is eating more protein because he is going to gym. In that case, I will start with the active insulin time three hours to or, or 3.5 hours. So according to the patient's occupation, I will change the uh, insulin sensitivity, uh, uh, active insulin time. And it will gi uh, give the auto basal targets according to us. But auto correction is given by the insulin pump by itself. So here we have a mixed picture something, some important step you still need to decide. So good for the clinician perspective. So second answer, what education is required for starting with the insulin pump? So first of all, we need to check the eligibility criteria. Patient affordable has to, hai, sahi, nahi hai. Patient is able to understand the messages which insulin pump is giving. Patient is able to uh, uh, understand what, what, he, what action he needs to take. And before that, we have 10 days initiation protocol that every patient should be done and this is the given by the Medronic teams. Uh, third thing, a patient should have a understand some responsibility. Aisa nahi hai ki insulin pump laga dega to sab kuch sahi ho jayega. Instead of that, they have to announce that bolus. They have to work on their alerts. So, they have to work on the commands, on the, uh, um, uh, on the bolus is what they are taking and they need to understand the responsibility. Uh, now, third question, when to start? Abhi chalu kar diya conference mein jane ke baad. Yeah, what should be the criteria? Or what are the insulin to be used? So, uh, there is no clear cut criteria, but uh, clinically we start early in the days because at end of the day I will have a data. So my patient will not go in the hypoglycemia at, at the same day. I will start on the earlier on the week. I will start probably on the Monday, not on the uh, Friday because Health will be very limited, although Medronix is providing the help for 24 by 7, but I would like to start with the end of the week. Uh, third thing, uh, suppose I am starting today, the night before that, I will reduce 60% of the uh, basal dose. So patient will not go into the hypo. And if patient is taking the breakfast on the same day, then I will give short acting insulin. And we need to set up the pump. So here the description is there. Uh, here we have to very very precise while giving the date and time because according to that pump will work. So uh, and patient will be very familiar with the insulin pump, insulin uh, uh, parts of the insulin pump and what are the insulin that is uh, that patient can use. 
So there are the company recommendation is the three, for the three insulin. One is the Novo Rapid, one is the Humalog, and one is the Epidra. But if patient is on the previous insulin pump, they are using whatever uh, uh, insulin is there that we can uh, uh, we can allow to use it. But the recommendation is only using three uh, these three components. Now my uh, question is from the clinical perspective. Chalu to kar diya how to calculate the dose. So uh, uh, for the patients who already on the insulin pump, so same basal uh, setting I will use for the subsequent pump. But for the boluses, we need to do all the calculation like insulin carbs ratio, insulin sensitivity factor. We need to set a blood glucose target. Suppose I am dealing with the pediatric patient as a pediatric endocrinologist, so my target would be 110 or 120. And if I uh, 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 dealing with the adult patient, that the, that time I don't have fear of hypoglycemia, so my target will be 90 to 80. And we need to decide the active insulin time. So again, I have given the example. That is very important. That is uh, signifying that how much aggressively I need to work. Suppose we are all Gujaratis are the carbohydrate eaters. So in that part, I have to work very fast. So my uh, active insulin time will be two. Suppose I'm eating more protein, more fat, then active insulin time will be three. So how to calculate the basal is patient on the MDI. Then suppose patient's weight is 50 kg. In that case, if HB1 is below seven, then I can reduce 20% of the total daily dose. So I will start with the 40 international unit total daily dose. But if the patient having hb one is more than eight with a similar MDI, then I will start with a similar dose. So, and I have to divide it 50-50. So 50% should be given in the bolus and 50% should be given in the basal. Suppose uh, I'm starting uh, kids who has a 48 uh, uh, weight. Uh, uh, who, who is using 48 unit of the insulin in that time of uh, uh, time frame i have to divide i have to give 24 unit as a bolus and 24 unit as a basal and i have to decide the uh, basal rate suppose i am dealing with an adolescent patient who have a more episodes of the hyperglycemia due to the uh, puberty pubertal hormone due to the sex hormone due to the cortisol in that case during that period i will increase the icr rate and you know how to calculate the bolus. So a similar way we need to calculate the bolus. Here, we need to keep the blood type, uh, blood glucose target as pro patient's profile and patient's age. Suppose if you are dealing, uh, dealing with a seven year old child, then I would like to uh, keep it with the 120 uh, milligram per deciliter. If I'm dealing with the 30 year age uh, type one diabetic, then my target will be 90 because I don't have a fear of the hypoglycemia. Uh, so this is the technical part. I would not like to go into that. Uh, from the educational part, what things patient may learn? They, think, they need to learn how to give bonus while going to bath, how to suspend the insulin pump, how to resume because bahut sare patient bhul jate hai. So this is the important duty, how to resume. Otherwise they will go into the diabetic ketoacidosis. Uh, they need to calculate the carbohydrate and they need to announce their bolus. Uh, if it is high, then they need to correct the uh, correct by the insulin doses. And with the sensor uh, Guardian Connect 3, they need to do a calibration. But with the newer Guardian Connect 4, they don't need to uh, do a calibration. So uh, if un until and unless insulin pump asks, they don't need to a calculation. So uh, these are the all the things that patients should read and uh, act on the alerts, uh, uh, and uh, they have to give the response. Uh, from the educational part, they have to change the insulin pump very regularly. They have to uh, change the infusion set. So these are the education that you may provide to your patient. So now after coming to the Mike's uh, point, the, the second last point, how to interpret the reports. Just Dr. Shrima Shrikan ne bola ki ek saal ke baad aayega to sahi patient. Chhe chhe mene ke baad patient aayega to sahi. So might be they will have uh, this kind of report. So how to do interpretation? It is looking also very uh, busy slide, but I will try to explain in the simpler manner. So here in the first slide, it is given the date. Blue line is A. So that means it is uh, uh, telling you that for what time frame you want to see the result. And the orange line to whom you want to co uh, compare. So suppose aska aaj ka mera reading hai, aaj ka 15 din ka aur pichle 15 din ka mujhe uh, karna hai. So I can do the comparison. This is the uh, blood glucose line 
in the outermost outermost layer is showing that it is how many episodes of the hyperglycemia is there and the lower colored line is showing how many episodes of the hypoglycemia so you will know how many times of the hypoglycemia and what are your maximum and minimum hypoglycemia will be there and here you will have a data of your hypoglycemia and hyper, hyperglycemia pattern so you can comp uh, it is uh, uh, available for only one data so in that in this case patient may have a three episode of the hyperglycemia which is suggestive and you can have a duration what time you can have a hyperglycemia so according to that you can change your insulin carbohydrate ratio and insulin sensitivity uh, yeah so patient is taking how much amount of the carbohydrate and what are the insulin uh, 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 active time that you can see by here. So in this case, patient in the morning hours, the car insulin carbohydrate ratio is 7. But after 5 a.m. to 11, p uh, 11 p.m. because patient is going to uh, school and he is playing and he is taking the uh, breakfast with a friend. So I keep the insulin carbohydrate ratio high here because to not having the hyperglycemia. Uh, most important thing here you will have a reading of a uh, timing range a uh, timing range in the comparison so uh, you can uh, uh, compare in, in the comparison of the B you will have a more uh, time in range in the uh, a line you will have a lesser time above the range and the time low uh, the time below range it, it is the same so here you you can compare the data uh, yeah, so most important feature is, is a smart guard features and if it exists then you can have a data you can evaluate that why smart uh, smart guard is not working and you can see the statistic level here you can see that a smart guard was applied for 100% in the time frame of the A while in the time frame of the B a smart guard was applied for only 94% you can uh, calculate the uh, glucose management indicator that is a, like in the crude manner it is hb1c so you can uh, th you can compare pehle hb1c 7.2 tha abhi uska glycemic index acha hua to hb1c was 7 so you always have a comparison so you will you will always have a statistic data and uh, uh, you can have a suppose there is an always difference between the in interstitial fluid and the whole blood uh, glucose so you can have a, always a compar comparison and how many uh, uh, time the patient has uses the insulin uh, 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 insulin and how many times they have given the in boluses you can have a comparison here in the uh, in, in this slide patient total daily dose was 54.1 while in the previously it was 60.8 among them bolus was 29 and corrected auto bolus was 15 unit and patient has taken auto bolus for 24 units so you will always have a data you can always compare uh, you uh, always compare with the another data and you can ask to your patient how to improve your timing range uh, the last slide you will have a command on the insulin uh, active insulin time so suppose uh, um, uh, for the high carbohydrate eaters i will put it the two hour uh, rather than the three hour so this is the busy slide but again you will have a data of comparison you can see the hyper and the hypoglycemia you can see how many episodes of the hypoglycemia you have how many episodes of the hyperglycemia you have you can compare between the time in range time below range you can have a data of the statistic you can improve that by uh, changing your icr uh, and you can have a time how, how many amount of the carbohydrate patient may have eaten so insulin pump will improve your timing range uh, now my last question how to what are the clinicians intervention for the hypo and the hyperglycemia suppose my patient is not maintaining timing range then in case then i have to change that insulin carbohydrate ratio and i have to change the timing of the bolusing suppose if they have a more high means unka bahut sugar jada aata hai so might be they were not taking at the ideal time might be they are taking just five minutes uh, 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 they are taking 20 minutes before the inch of uh, bolus is so i have to change the timing i have to change the icr so suppose unka uh, uh, to 10 gram tha i i can reduce the icr so if i will make 10 8 instead of the 10 then patient uh, uh, time in range will might be improved in third case if patient is going into time below uh, what below range then uh, means patient may have a more hypoglycemia then might be patient is 
applying more carbohydrate so i have to correct that i will reduce the carb uh, icr so instead of the 8 i will put the icr as a 10 so the uh, glycemic status will improve i will change the auto uh, basal mode but previously if i uh, put the auto basal mode as a 120 now i will put as a 140 so i can change according to the hypoglycemic status and patient should wear the sensor more than 80 percent then you will have a more result so now uh, uh, patient should need to practice about how manual mode is working uh, if i summarize my slide then this is the miracle बहुत लोग बहुत सारे पेशेंट पूछते हैं कि कोई एज अ पीडियाट्रिक एंडोक्राइनोलॉजिस्ट दे कम टू कम टू अस विद द होपिंग गाइस कुछ सॉल्यूशन है सर बट नाउ वी कैन एबल टू टेल टू द 20 परसेंट पॉपुलेशन नाउ दिस इज द सॉल्यूशन बट दिस इज नॉट फुल्ली ऑटोमेटेड सिस्टम सो पेशेंट ऐसा लगता है कि सब कुछ कर लेगा बट यू हैव टू डिसाइड द कार्बोहाइड्रेट यू हैव टू एंटर कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंड फ्रॉम द क्लिनिकल परस्पेक्टिव पेशेंट कम कम्स बैक टू यू not as usual but six monthly they come come uh, comes to you and you have to decide how much uh, interpretation is needed from your side so thank you very much i this slide i always tell to my parents ke bahut hard uh, easy steps lena bahut easy hai easy step aapki life hard bana dega so bahut sare patient jo hote hai wo insulin pump sikhna nahi chahte because it is technology related okay 10 10 days it is taking but if you are taking first hard decision then your life will be as, uh, uh, very easy as Dr. Bansi and Dr. Srikanth Somadi